Having been on here a while, we know what you love to see. Big and powerful machines. Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo, where today we'll be telling you about some absolutely massive machines. Make sure to stick around to see what over 160,000 pounds of metal can do. First up, we have the Liebherr 36 XXT. It's a versatile self-propelled concrete pump designed to transfer concrete to a height of 117.5 feet. Its five-section multifold distribution boom can be unfolded to a maximum downwards height of 24.6 feet. Its power block system is characterized by its highly efficient hydraulic circuit, ensuring all hydraulic drives are powered reliably and smoothly. The design and kinematics of the boom distribute the material universally. The pump unit has been mounted on a robust chassis with a three-axle system. Moreover, the end of the distribution boom does not extend beyond the rear of the loading hopper, making the vehicle extremely maneuverable on construction sites as well as in road traffic. Next we have the MBR800, a hydraulic propelled drum cutter that measures 40 inches wide and 23.6 inches in diameter, while weighing around 1.12 US tons. It is compatible with excavators weighing 11.2 to 24.6 tons and is capable of producing inlet pressures of up to 350 bar. It rotates at a rate of 60 RPM, scraping anything that comes into contact with its blades. It is used to level plasterwork and grind rock and stone. Next, we have the DT-10 from Wacker Newson. It's a crawler-mounted dumper offering a payload capacity of 2,205 pounds. This mini-crawling dumper has been designed for material handling in tight spaces. Its robust construction ensures minimum wear and tear. Thanks to the hydrostatic drive system, no frequent gear changing is required, and the operator can focus entirely on his work. Its rubber chains and optimal weight distribution reduce the ground pressure and prevent damage to fragile surfaces. The PDX-1000 is a post-driver tool that can be attached to skid steers and excavators. It is used for driving fence posts and other similar needs. Because the urethane caps are at both ends of the breaker, it significantly reduces vibrations and noise. They isolate the breaker from hitting the mounting plane directly. Furthermore, all mechanical work is performed within a tightly sealed nitrogen-charged housing, making the driver's job more comfortable.
Chemrock has introduced a series of heavy-duty wheel cutter attachments for excavators. These can cut narrow trenches up to a depth of 39.4 inches and can also be used underwater. The weight of the attachment is maintained by the something bracket, and the wheel is gradually driven down to the necessary depth. When the appropriate depth is achieved, the wheel is dragged along the cutting direction by either moving the excavator's arm or gently pulling the excavator rearward. The shredded material is directed to the trench's side. The RUS Sleeper Layer is an attachment tool designed for handling railway sleepers. It features grabbing arms that are used to lift and place the sleeper beneath the truck. It then expands its arm to position each sleeper at a uniform distance. Its various models are available with different grabbing arm configurations. The RUS Sleeper enables the worker to fasten clips straight from the cab. This ends up saving both time and labor costs. Sandvik underground trucks are built for transporting rock material safely, efficiently, and reliably. The trucks are rugged, compact, and powerful, offering low cost per ton with a payload capacity of 15 to 63 tons. These trucks come standard with an intelligent control system enabling multiple smart solutions. They are highly maneuverable with a small turning radius and operate at high speeds. Other features include FEA-optimized frames and dump boxes, powerful diesel engines, advanced drivetrain technology, four-wheel drive, and ergonomic controls. The Leopard DI650i is a drill rig designed for demanding drilling applications in surface mining and large-scale quarry applications. It features a comfortable operator's cabin, a fixed boom, a dry dust collector, and a drill pipe changer. Its intelligent system automatically adjusts the flow, pressure, and feed levels, keeps the torque constant, and maintains drill pressure. It also adds the pipe automatically, and after reaching the desired depth, its AI takes care of all the steps to finish the hole correctly. The CAT 621K is an open bucket scraper with a 407 horsepower engine and a bucket capacity of 18.4 cubic meters. It consists of a wagon and a gate with a bladed bottom. As the wagon pulls forward, the blade scrapes out the dirt, forcing the excavated material into the wagon. When the wagon is full, the gate is closed and the material is transported to the disposal site. It is commonly used in highway construction.
The GreenTech RI80 is a mower, featuring a mowing disc and an arm. It can go around every obstacle, whether that be fence posts, crash barriers, or trees. Two powerful blades cut the grass underneath the spring-suspended, free-hanging plate. An anti-scalp disc protects the blades of these knives. It prevents them from touching the ground and being damaged. This system can be mounted on tractors, front loaders, and skid steer loaders. The Tomahawk 4040 is a tractor-propelled bale processor designed for both dry and wet materials. It features a robust PTO-compatible rotor that spins the cutting rotor to shred bales. You can discharge the processed bale on both sides or turn the outlet to any side. A hydraulic motor rotates the drum via drive belts. The discharge rate is controlled by varying the drum angle and speed of rotation. The C550 is a versatile head tool designed for the cutting of tree. It has multiple grippers that provide a strong hold on what comes in its grasp. The gripper always shuts before the cutting mechanism, which ensures safety. Moreover, its throttle valve controls the pace at which the gripper opens. The accumulator can be removed easily via a rapid change system to reduce the machine weight when working with thick trees. Next, we have the Stump Grinder from Hemos. It has a cutting wheel with fixed carbide teeth, a cowl to prevent material dispersion, and a tilting arm. The cutter wheel drags power from the hydraulic cylinders of the attached machine. As a consequence, the cutter travels laterally through the stump. Raising and lowering gently cause perfect removal of stumps. Professionals usually operate these grinders. Up next is the OJK Screw Ditcher, which is ideal for ditching on peatland in all conditions. Its auger successfully cuts any trees, roots, or stumps in the bog. It throws peat to a good distance on either side of the ditch and is uniformly scattered throughout the strip. Its rear plates prevent peat from being pushed back into the ditch, which is very important for cleaning old ditches. It's able to accomplish the work even when the ground is frozen.
The Hydro Trike is a liquid manure processor unique in look because of a fifth mid-wheel at its front. The purpose of this big wheel is to ensure stable performance in hilly and undulating terrain. Drive to the mid-wheels is provided by a self-contained system. The Hydro Trike is designed by incorporating state-of-the-art technology, including NIR sensors which automatically vary manure delivery according to land composition and record the data. You can attach different arms and attachments with it. Indeed, it's an engineering masterpiece. The machine you're watching now is a tree transplanter. It has a sizable scoop type digger that can easily dig around the tree without causing any damage to the tree roots. The cost for transplantation is only a fraction of the cost of growing a seedling up to a large tree or purchasing a new large tree. These machines are helping municipal authorities as well as people saving plants and trees that are usually cut down during construction work. The DW630 is a dewatering trencher designed to lower the groundwater table temporarily to a controlled depth. It is also utilized in pipeline projects. Its digging boom can cut from 11 feet to 19 feet deep. It has a CAT C18 engine with 630 horsepower, with variable speed reversing fans, reducing fuel consumption and maximizing efficiency. Its hoods are designed with extra clearance when open for easy maintenance access to the engine and hydraulics. Its side-mounted cabs provide high visibility of the work zone and sightline while driving. The Komatsu D375A-8 is a 161,840-pound crawler dozer built for ground leveling and material handling applications. It features a 28.8 cubic yard front blade, a 609 horsepower engine, and a redesigned cab, ensuring powerful performance with efficiency and comfort. Its automatic transmission and lock-up torque converter minimize parasitic power losses and fuel consumption by 10%. A massive ripper has been mounted on its back that rips through materials, making this useful for a number of different tasks. The Volvo R100E is a rigid dumper with a 79 cubic yard bucket and a payload capacity of 105 tons. Its frame has been manufactured using high tensile abrasion resistant steel, ensuring longevity and robustness. Thanks to its nitrogen charged hydraulic accumulator, the steering is exceptionally responsive. The rear wheels are powered by a double reduction drive axle. A 1,065 horsepower Cummins engine powers this beast. It can be driven at 31 miles per hour.
Last, but certainly not least, we have the Komatsu 4800 XPC. It is an ultra-class electric rope shovel built for tough environments. It can fill a big dumper in just three passes, ensuring consistent uptime and high cutting force. The low inertia design of the responsive dynamic crown design system allows fine motion control by shovel operators, high crown forces to assist with toe penetration, and reduces damage associated with abuse events. Its twin leg handle focuses energy and cutting force by preventing the twisting or rotating of the dipper. PH Adaptive Controls is a suite of integrated control functions designed to build on the strengths of the PH shovel. It is engineered to increase production by up to 9% and eliminate boom jacking by up to 50%, with no negative effects on shovel structures. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you check out one of these two for more interesting machines. Feel free to like and subscribe, it's always a big help to us. And with that, we'll see you next time.